the Lord, brothers and sisters, greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to look at kingdom insights as seasons. We understand that we're in a seasonal uh, shifting and everything is going to change in the next few moments and has been uh, changing ever since. Everything is changing around us. We want to look into the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse number 1 to 11 and it reads like this to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to be born and time to die a time to plant a time to pluck up that which is planted a time to kill a time to heal a time to break down a time to build up a time to weep a time to laugh a time to mourn a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to get and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away a time to rend and a time to sow a time to keep silence a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace what profit had he had worked in that wherein he had labored i have seen the travail which God had given to the sons of men to be exercising it. Verse 11 says, He had made everything beautiful in his time. God has made everything beautiful in his time. He has also set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Father, we thank you for your sacred word. May we be blessed as we study it and as we share it today. Help us to have introspection of how we embrace this new season. We are thanking you, Father, that we will see a harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for seasons in Jesus' mighty name. That it will not always be a bad season, or it will not always be a dark season. For weeping endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Whatever season we find ourselves in, help us to know that you are with us and for us in Jesus' mighty name. The power of change. To everything there is a season which deals with the duration duration of a thing how long this thing will last a season there is mango season plum season there are different types of season in trinidad we have dry season and we have wet season we have season that seasons that will change suddenly and then there are seasons that takes a long duration it endures its time everything is changing the world is changing the globe is changing after the pandemic or uh, many nations are still battling with the COVID-19 and they are having to make uh, adjustments and and having to deal with uh, changes everything is changing life is changing you're getting older uh, if you are 30 years old and you're transitioning and you're getting older you're heading to your 40s everything is changing you're getting older in life, things are changing, and you have to embrace changes. Everything is changing, and we have to accept them. Change is constant. Change leads us to make adjustments. How we spend, how we live, how are we going to do church, how are we going to embrace this new normal. Change is mandatory for development. In the change process, there is a method of development. In every crisis, it produces change. And in that crisis, it also produces development. How am I coping? How am I developing? Are you developing or are you stagnant in the way you live your life? The Bible says, to everything there is a season, a duration of a thing. It lasts for a particular season. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under seasons time and purpose in this season we're gonna to have to trust God the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path in a season of crisis in a season that we are embracing new changes we have to trust God who else can we trust put your confidence in the things of God in the sacred book in who Jesus is if you trust God this is a time to put our trust in God 
the time deals with Kavios time. It's not really clock time. When he talks about season, which is duration and time, he's not talking about clock time, but he's talking about kingdom opportunities, that there is a kingdom opportunity that is awaiting you right now in the name of Jesus, a time. There is a time for everything. There's an opportunity that will come your way in a certain, in a set time. Uh, God has set seasons and time. And he governs the world by seasons and time, but he himself is not governed by time, but he needs the time so that he can know when to outpour the blessings and, and, and restore that which was broken in your life. There's a set time and there's a purpose that comes into your life. So in this season, you want to trust God. You want to trust him. It says in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 13 and verse 12, that hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Understand that when hope is deferred, when it is turned back, it is uh, it makes the heart sick. But when the, the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. When you trust God and He brings to pass the promises of Almighty God in your life, there's a wonderful blessing that comes with it. There, there is a hope that nobody nobody can take from you there's hope uh, that comes but when that hope when hope deferred hope deferred make it the heart sick but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life there's a season for production when you trust god and that seed is planted there is a season that it begins to bear fruit in your life it's like a man and he plants a vineyard and after a while in the book of Luke chapter 12 that he waited for almost three years and he comes to seek fruit and he found none and here here's the man in the vine dresser he says why cumbereth it the land why occupieth it the land let us cut it down and the intercessor says give it this year leave it this year let's see if it's going to produce I, I want you to know that there's a year there's a season where you're going to produce there's a time to bear there's a time to bring forth fruit in your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah to obey god and when we talk about obeying god you want to have a total obedience it is better that you obey god than to sacrifice obedience is better than sacrifice you want to have an obedient spirit even in this season this season requires us to walk in divine obedience obeying his principles and his laws that governs us so you want to have obedience to obey is better than sacrifice so you want to have uh, and when we say uh, we are talking about not delayed obedience but you want to obey god if god says to do something if god says to uh, to bless someone you bless someone if god says to sow into to someone's life you sow into someone's life but you want to obey the principles of almighty god so so david uh, king david obeyed god king david says i heard the voice of god uh, let's bring back the ark this is a season to bring back uh, the covenant the ark that represents the presence of almighty god in his life and i'm i'm going to do a series about after the heart of god so david in his, in his obedience uh, sought the things of almighty god uh, you want to move on to also loving god total love to love god with all your heart soul and mind your devotion is unto God and and with that comes purpose that's your ultimate purpose to love God to serve God so you want to love God and and make sure that relationship with God is intact this is a season to guard your relationship in the might, mighty name of Jesus Christ you want to love God with all your heart soul and mind love God with every fiber of your being this is the love that God has displayed for us uh, even in this pandemic we can sense and see the love of God even to our nation to the Caribbean that we are uh, COVID uh, not COVID free but we have uh, had not dealt a severe blow by this pandemic so we want to thank God that his hand is uh, upon the Caribbean islands and, and we pray for the, the world by extension that his grace will be poured out unto them so there's a season for everything Discerning the times, we want to look at discerning the times in Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. We learn that the men of Issachar were men of understanding of times and they know what Israel ought to do. We, know, we need to discern the times. We need to discern the times. Uh, 
to interpret the times that we are in, the, the kingdom opportunities. So these men uh, that have uh, David supporters who came to make, uh, make David king, uh, they were in a minority, but they were men and women of descent. They were men of Issachar. The men of Issachar were men of discernment. They could have discerned and interpret the times that they were living in. We must understand what is happening around us. What is happening around you? Look at the world, look at the globe. What is happening around you? What is happening in your environment? We must study the culture. What, what are the cultures, uh, what are they imposing upon the churches? Or upon, uh, we are seeing new cultures emerging and the church must keep uh, the kingdom culture. We must stand up for holiness and righteousness. Communities are changing, churches are changing right before our eyes. We need to discern, discern God's timetable. What's next on God's calendar? What is he doing? in this season and I believe God is, has shaken the whole world. He has caused uh, um, others to look up and to see that he is indeed the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords and uh, many people are seeking the things of God and I'm praying that when our churches open back that we're going to see a harvest. We're going to see people who uh, recognize now that there is a God and, and you need prayer in your life. You need him. Uh, because he rules in the affairs of mankind and he's not governed by time. So God, you need that uh, unchangeable, eternal God on your side. What is God doing? What is he saying to the world, the church, your life? What, is, what has been God saying uh, in your life? We must discover vision for the future. So we must have a vision, our course of action. The men of Issachar were not only uh, interpreters of the time, but they knew what to do. So we want to ask God not just to discern the time, but to know. You must know what you must do in this season. So I, I started off by saying change. Change uh, produces adjustments. Uh, what adjustments are you making in life? Uh, how are you going to live your life? Are you going to live the same way after this pandemic? Or are you going to put Christ in your life? Are you going to seek ye first uh, the kingdom of Almighty God? Uh, as I discern the times, God is saying that we must put him first. Uh, I call it kingdom alignment, that you must put God first. Uh, uh, have a right priority of the things of Almighty God. Put Him first. Seek Him first. Explore His kingdom. Explore His truth. Uh, his truth is absolute. Uh, I want to introduce to you a God that is unchangeable in the mighty name of Jesus. We must have a course of action. Action steps such as prayer and divine counsel and insight for the future. God unchangeable. I want you to know we serve a God that is unchangeable. He is immutable. He is unchangeable. The truth of God is absolute. I want you to know that everything around us is changing, but God cannot change. He is God by himself. He is unchangeable. His majesty, his potency, his power, his omniscience, his, his omnipotence. He is God. He's not a man that he should lie. You want to trust God even at this season, the truth of God. God, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The holiness of God, the absence of corruption. You want to put your trust in God, that he is not corrupted, but he is truthful, he is holy. The eternity of God, not governed by time, nor space, nor matter. He is God. And he has a wonderful plan in store for you. I have a plan to prosper you, give you hope uh, and a future, said God. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. God does not want to break us down, but he wants to build you up uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. The great I am that I am. He appeared unto Moses and said unto him, I am. They are, Moses asked, who, who, who to say? Who are you? And he says, I am that I am. I will be whatever you need me to be in your life, said the Lord. I am. The great I am, the experiencing of the great I am that I am is for us. He's not against you. God is for you. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus our Lord. He is for us, the great I am. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the way maker. I am the truth revealer. I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the same yesterday 
today and forever. He cannot change. He remains immutable that God cannot lie. It is impossible for God to lie. There's no shadow of his turning. Everything is changing. Your body is changing. Your economy is changing. Your systems are changing. Our life is changing. But God remains the same. Hallelujah. God is not a man that he should lie. You want to trust this God. You want to put confidence in this God. He is Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I want you to put your trust in God. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to know you are God unchangeable. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the first and the last. You have set eternity in our hearts, O oh Lord. Reveal you have made everything beautiful in this time. Help us to know that whatever is next, that you are in it, Lord, that you are in the boat with us and you are moving uh, with us and for us. You are not against us in Jesus' mighty name. We embrace change, but we thank you that we serve a God who's unchangeable. Bless you. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Be blessed in Jesus' name.